In this screencast, what I'd like to do is go over um, some of the initial icons you'll see. Um, this is kind of a two-part video. This first one, uh, we're going to go over um, the majority of what these icons you see here are. What the arrows mean, what the hand means, the I, the X, um, and kind of just discuss some of their functions and how you use them. Um, one of the things Moodle offers is it offers a lot of editing uh, work um, not very deep into it and that it's on the surface. Um, so one of the first icons that you'll see is the hand holding a pencil. Um, this icon tells you uh, that you're allowed to make updates or allowed to insert some content into that section. Essentially each one of these holds a place there uh, and that every time you put something in a place um, you'll get this row of, of icons that follow behind it that allow you to manipulate it and do with it what you want. Um, so let's look at the idea first of the arrows. Um, the arrows indent the item one direction or the other, left or right. Um, so if I, if I was to click on the left arrow, letting the page refresh, pulling down, notice how now the item has indented left. This is particularly helpful, like when you look down here where I've inserted a label, this is helpful in being able to segment off items. And then notice underneath where it says insert a label, these items are indented. So from the standpoint of what, how we would like our students to see it, is that you could label something we get into a little bit later. And then you're able to indent items underneath it to create uh, either a pattern or segment off certain areas that are related to one another. And if you click the arrow to move it right, it just moves it back in line. And you can click it over further or back just like to the image to look. Another item to look at are the up and down arrows uh, right here. These will move the item wherever you'd like to place it. And the reason why this is important is that as you upload material into whatever topic or, or course or week uh, that you're working in, you're not able to set the cursor anywhere as far as where you want it to go. It just kind of whatever order you you put it in uh, is the order, the, the sequential order it follows. So this was the first item I put in. Scroll down. This was the last item I put in. And so let's say I, if I wanted to move save course material up to where turn editing on. So I would click under by save save course material. I'd come over here and click the up arrow. I'm then going to get the screen to refresh and you have uh, outlined boxes. Now, whichever box you click on, that's where that item will move to. And knowing I want it to be up above turn editing on, click, and it will move it there. So when this, it now has swapped places. So that's how you're able to arrange your items according to how you'd like the students to view them in the sequence you'd like them uh, to view them in, inside each topic or week. This item here at the hand holding the little pencil, that's how you update. All right, there's a few important features inside the update screen. Um, now, this is the initial screen that you, you drop into. And notice here by name, the red asterisk. That means it's required, and you'll see that periodically throughout Moodle. If for any reason you forget to fill a required uh, box in, Moodle will tell you, so you don't have to worry about missing something that's required. But the name function, that is what the student sees. And so that is what the student knows to link to um, whatever item you put there, whether it be an assignment, a discussion, a chat, a wiki, whatever it may be. Those names need to match up with your syllabus. Um, so therefore, the, the students are able to stay consistent in the wording that they see. So I've put it as save material. Uh, and down. You hear where I've put text in. So what that is, you'll see on the next screen, is when the students click on that link, because this is a text document, this is the box that will pop up. This wording and information will pop up. You notice, I'm moving your screen over to the right a bit. You notice up here you have a full toolbar to mess with the font, the type, the style, bold, italics. Um, you can even embed video through this by toggling back and forth between HTML and text. Um, you can put an anchor, or you can do insert an image. There, you know, you have many functions up there. And if we scroll down, think of how it will appear for the student. When I set it on new window, that'll give you a pop-up screen that comes out at the student. If you leave it on same window, that'll keep the student 
uh, it'll refresh the screen with that image on it and the student will then have to use the the breadcrumb at the top or the back arrow to go back um, but with the pop-up window I like that feature because I think it gives the students a little more um, mobility with what they can do with the content these are all default settings it's how the student can manipulate or utilize the pop-up window I typically leave them the way they are but that that's on you what to point out and this pops up with almost every page if we scroll your screen over to the left in the bottom left of pages you'll see this link to Moodle Docs this will take you out of your Moodle site and into Moodle Docs for this page it's a very nice uh, handy tool to where if you're confused or if something's slipping your memory and you want to refresh yourself on the function of it you can click on those links and it takes you to Moodle Docs which is um, a collaborative tool that Moodle puts out there um, that helps explain in text mostly sometimes uh, in, in video shots sometimes in um, audio and video format of what that page does and what that function is okay so I'm gonna move this back over to the right I'm gonna hit save and return to course because you gotta remember to save it now we should in the new screen screen catch up with mine okay so if I was to click on save course material a pop-up window will appear and let me move you up so you can see it okay and here's the text that we inserted which was required um, the summary section is in the previous screen if you noticed it went from name to summary to require text that summary section is for an instructor to make notes of what this was or what this is um, so that in the future when you restore your course or zip your course um, you can have kind of like notes or reference to point to um, but this is the text and this is how it would appear to the student and notice too here that there's a Moodle Docs for this page as well to kind of give um, the ability to drop into it and of course this is all done with turn editing on that is something I should have said at the very beginning but at this point you have to have editing on to be able to do these functions now the next one is, is the X that deletes it that takes whatever's there away and Moodle will prompt you well, let's go ahead and do it Moodle will prompt you um, notice here it says are you absolutely sure you want to completely delete resource now it will stay in your folder your file folder which is something we get to in the future but as far as how it appears on the screen it would disappear so I don't want to so I'm going to click no take us back and one of the last features I want to show you here is the icon that's a little eye and what the eye icon is is that's how you can control and manipulate what the students can and can't see inside that that topic uh, we get into the next one about the how you can control that entire section but this is for each individual item inside that week or topic that you're working in so if I click on the eye it's going to close when the screen refresh you can now see that the eye is closed what that does is tells me that this isn't viewable to the student so if you were to toggle back into a student view um, which is up by the turn editing on or off in the upper right hand corner you would be able to see that okay it's not there anymore students can't see it but then when you come back into your instructor role you would be able to see it um, and notice too that it changes colors it's no longer the blue but it changes to a gray for the hyperlink by clicking it over it then reappears visible and functional again meaning the students can link to it 